For an online business that I run, we receive a large portion of the income in dollars or Canadian dollars. However, to convert that money back into pounds, we were facing sometimes two, three, or even 4% bank charges. We we're also facing further charges when we're paid our uh, software or freelance suppliers in dollars or euros. So having had a great experience with WISE from my personal interna international travel, I wanted to see whether WISE business was a, was a good option for us and whether it could save us money on these charges. The answer to that is undoubtedly yes, but is WISE just a money transfer service or is it a good business bank account option for, for your company? Let's take a look and see what our experience has told us. Welcome back to the Basics of Business channel, everybody. And today the focus is on wise.com or TransferWise, it was formerly known, and looking to see whether it's a good option to meet your business banking needs. This is part of a series of videos where we compare nine different business bank accounts that we have access to across six different categories to see which one we consider to be the best. But for today, the focus, as I say, is solely, solely on wise.com and looking at the features, the benefits, the pluses and minuses. And to kick that off, it makes sense uh, to start with the feature that attracted my business uh, to it in the first place and kicked off the FinTech uh, TransferWise in the first place. And that relates to international payments. And when it comes to international payments, uh, TransferWise, as it was formerly known, Wise.com now, was set up originally in 2011 to ease the pain of international money transfer because let's face it, the, the big banks uh, for the public and businesses alike have been using it as a bit of a cash cow for many years now. Uh, I know Neil, for example, is in, in dispute with HSBC at the moment over a, a $700 bank charge uh, that they've levied on, on the businesses it involved in just to receive uh, $15,000 into their UK account. For my own online business, we were facing sometimes hundreds of dollars of charges simply to convert again and get dollars uh, into our UK bank account. And when it comes to those uh, international fees, WISE has undoubtedly be, been cheaper for us. It lets you send uh, and receive uh, money in, in over 40 currencies. And for, for nine currencies in particular, through WISE, you can have a, a business bank account, which essentially acts you like it lets you act like a local uh, in those countries when, when it comes to using using the bank. So if you if you run an online business as I do, Wise is, is definitely an option uh, compared to the big banks and particularly to save money on, on international transfer fees. And uh, just to be clear though, uh, that if, if that is your sole focus, Wise uses the mid-market rate. So uh, there are cheaper alternatives out there, I think, um, when it comes to purely the fees on international money money transfers and when it comes to their transaction fees depending on which uh, currency you're using they can add up the charges uh, if you're doing a lot of them. Another thing you'll hear Neil and I consistently banging on about when it comes to business bank accounts is the ease with which uh, you can remove and add levels of access to uh, whether that be team members or lawyers or accountants or other advisors to the business. In our view, that is something that should be made easy and you should have complete control of uh, as, as the business owner or a business operator. And when it comes to WISE, it, it certainly, without question, was easy. We could, we could add let people, as many people as we wanted, and pretty easy. If, if I'm honest, it was almost too easy in terms of all we needed to do was generate a link from, from the app uh, or from the desktop uh, on WISE.com and send, send an email link. Uh, to the people we want to give access to. And if I'm honest, I really would have preferred an identity check uh, at the other end, uh, which wasn't needed just by clicking on that link, uh, the other people had access. And as we all know, it's pretty easy to make a typo when it comes to uh, an email address. So we def definitely have like probably a little bit extra check and care on that. Uh, and as I say, it was almost almost too easy. Um, from a plus point of view, when it comes to mandates, though, that there, there's no doubt that one of the features which is great with Wise.com is the digital cards, which you can have for, for team members and you can have multiple ones and, and control spending levels. And you're also able to, to batch payments. I think it's up to up to a thousand 
uh, which can be a great thing uh, with one single click, particularly if, if you have an international payroll. Uh, another, again, another key thing for business bank accounts for us is, is ease, of, ease of opening. When you get your company and, and business running, you just want to get your, your business bank account set up. You can't function really without it, as we know, in terms of money coming in and out of the business. And it's something that should be very easy. It is not, as we've found out with, with, other, uh, with other business bank accounts and can take, can take weeks. But with Wise.com, we find that process very straightforward. And if you want to see exactly how that process went, please check out uh, our other video where we go through that, go through that in detail. And I had a, a business account set up. I think it was within a couple of days, which got that tick in the box, which when it's when you want to get set up and you want to get running is, is a key thing for us and, and a critical point of, of difference when it comes to business bank accounts. Fees by comparison may ironically be a, a potential red flag for some businesses with uh, using WISE. And that may sound surprising given what we, we said at the start of the video uh, with regard to the, the ease with which uh, WISE allows you to handle international money transfers. And what we're specifically talking about here is, is the £45 uh, setup fee uh, we had for, for setting up our WISE business account. That's not a charge that we found with any other bank that we looked at. And Depending what type of business uh, you run, there are transaction fees which which could add up pretty pretty quickly. Wise business accounts, just to be clear, also do not set, accept cash in any form. It is a purely digital platform, so if your business involves cash, Wise business account will not let you deposit that in in any way. And although we know uh, other banks are also trying to dis discourage cash as much as possible, they do allow you to deposit it in in various different ways wise.com will not let you deposit cash so again that is something that's potentially a key consideration for you being a purely online financial institution though uh, one of the the pluses we found uh, for wise is in their online services as you as you'd expect um the app is is excellent and very easy to use and the app marketplace uh, allows integrations with uh the standing accounting software packages and other ones although it's not quite as extensive uh, as, as other um, fintechs and, and business bank accounts that are out there. It, it is good and certainly superior to uh, some of the other banks that, that we looked at. In line with the, the modern fintech companies also, uh, WISE are much more, I find them much more communicative with the business compared to some of the traditional banks and they're consistently in touch by email, which you can turn off in terms of frequency, but as I say, I, I found that helpful in terms of the consistency with which they're in touch, whether that be about new features or new things they're developing on the account or insights uh, into how you're using the bank account with them yourselves. Briefly, before we move on, it would be a big help if you could hit that uh, like button if you're finding this video helpful. Thanks for doing that. It really is a great guide for us, whether the content we're producing uh, is providing a clarity for your business. So thank you for doing that. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and, and moving on to customer support, this is again another potential red flag for some businesses out there. Uh, given it's, a, it's an online uh, fintech platform, there's obviously no branch support. Uh, but as well, sometimes chat support is unavailable. Uh, the email um, service level agreement to come back to you, I think, is, is one day or something like that. Um, so although I've not had um, personal experience of our business struggling to get in touch with them um, for, for things related to us, that sort of delay in coming back to you. And I think uh, from a phone perspective as well, it's only available uh, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. On, on weekdays. So if you have an urgent inquiry compared to other uh, customer support that's out there with, with other uh, banks and financial institutions, that, that might be a red flag and, and too slow too slow for your business. And that, that online platform asset brings us neatly onto, onto the next point, which is that wise.com is not a bank. It is a financial institution. And although they are regulated, it means certain things uh, when it comes to uh, credit facilities, for example, is that you'll not be able to get overdrafts, credit cards, loans, the standard things that you'd associate uh, with, with, with business bank accounts. Um, also, Although your money is your business money is safeguarded, there's not that eighty five thousand um, pound FSCS uh, protection which you have through through regular banks. And although 
uh, wise.com offer uh, interest in, in inverted commas. It's important to be aware that this is almost like using your money for, for investment and your, your business's money is at risk and it's not interest in the way that you would associate it with um, with standard bank accounts. And that is based on the fact that wise.com, as I say, is not a bank, but an, an e-money institution and all the things on all the things that go with that. All in all, therefore, we'd say that, that wise.com is a potential option when it comes to, to your business banking. However, we're not fully convinced yet that it's made that transitional from international money transfer service to being a full-blown uh, uh, business account service. That obviously that situation is, is changing all the time. However, for, for my own online business, we are simply using it to reduce our fees still. Uh, when it comes to international money transfers and, and payments and are not using it um, as our primary um, business account. So as I say, that, that's our position on it at the moment. So that's it for this Wise Business Account Review. Uh, as ever, we wish you every success with your business journey and, and your company. And if you like this video, tap in one of those boxes on the screen and we'll see you over in another one.